<laughs> Rook, oh, I got this one. row, row, row. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> yeah, that's how quick. That's the only video I had. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, but yeah, it's it's a row row row. That's a, I, I had to like I literally watched like multiple videos and and stuff beyond just watching tape to verify that I was pronouncing the name correctly. Um yeah, so anyway, six foot four. He's very tall for a defensive tackle, defensive lineman here. Um, two ninety five, twenty two years old. Here's the scary part though. He's the same height as Trevante Sweat. Minus 67 pounds. <laughs> this is what I'm saying when I say that this is a very weird defensive line, you know, group here. There's not a lot of biggies in here. Um, in 22, 14 games, 23 tackles, eight tackles for loss, four sacks, five passes deflected, one fumble recovery. In 23, 12 games, 25 tackles, eight tackles for loss, five sacks. One pass deflected and a 75.8 PFF grade. Now, the, here's the thing with him. He's got a really good technique, guys. Really good technique. And he's a guy that you could throw right now onto pass rushing situations specifically. Like, you put him as like your guy that you're going to put in our defensive line during like diamond nickel packages when you're less worried about runs and stuff like that. He's going to excel. I'm not sure he's an every down player the way he plays right now. I think he's the guy who's going to take a year or two to really develop into the body you need to be an every down defensive lineman in the uh, in in the draft here. I was saying the league because again, two ninety five. You got to add weight. You got to add weight. You're not there, man. You're just not. Um, and it shows sometimes the way you play. And no disrespect there, but it just does. Uh, I think he's going to be a day two pick. I think he'll probably actually sneak into that second round. But I think that he has the potential if he goes to the right spot with the right teacher to teach someone who's so raw, you know, that and it's just he's got the, like I said, he's got the technique part down. But you got you gotta get ahead and help build up his strength. You gotta help build up his quickness as far as getting him better as far as lateral moves. And then once he's good against the run. He's going to be a damn good player in this league. Yeah, I was about to say, he's, he's, like you said, very good with technique. He's not the biggest guy. Sometimes the guys with the best technique don't need to be the biggest guy in the room because they know how to throw around their body weight properly. No, yeah. But like you said, he's got he's to work on putting some more mass because that technique will only improve with the more weight behind him. And he's got to work on that run. He's a guy that I think, you know, late – a midday day two kind of pick, and then somewhere that's if he looks like the Rams or something. The Rams that wouldn't like shock me off if they early, yeah, because they're going to want to try to replace Aaron Donald as best they can. I mean, you're not going to yeah. fully going to replace him, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean you're talking about the best in... ever. So yeah. Uh, Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.